Well, just remember, mate, you've now got to tell the app which two girls that you like so you can ask them out on the second date. Do I? Oh, why does it work like that? I don't know. To stop girls getting strung along and catching feelings. Bro, I don't know. I didn't make the app. Just, just answer. I need to think on it. Um, but listen, thank you for your help. And I'm going to get some sleep and I'll catch you tomorrow, yeah? No problem, bro. Have a good one, yeah? See you later. Good night. Whoa, you're up and having lunch already, yeah? Behave. This is breakfast. What's good? I got a second date with Grace this evening. Ah, you got your A-game ready? Yeah, listen, trust me, I need it with a woman like that. <laughs> Never have I ever. That is a drinking game, yeah? Make sure you got the booze ready. Not that you'd have much to drink to on the count of you never having done anything ever. Very funny. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Actually, I'm on the Vino tonight. Ah, a bit more sophisticated for Grace, yeah? Huh? Actually, it's, it's a Sauvignon Blanc, to be precise. Ooh, la la, oui, oui, ça va. <laughs> Are you going to take the piss every time I call you? Yes. I'm nervous. Bro, stop it, man. <laughs> Any word from your girl Grace since the first date? She actually sent me a little voice note over the app. Let's hear it. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, don't know, man. Come on, man. Oh, why do you put me in these predicaments, Callum? Uh... How long's it been? Come on, man. All right, cool. I'm showing it, you know. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Just thought I'd check in to say I'm very excited for our game date later. I'm expecting some raw, shocking truths about you, mister. Um, I hope you're enjoying this lovely weather. I've laid on the sunscreen and started working outside. See you soon. Ciao. Mmm. She can talk. Yeah, but she, she's got a lot of cool stuff to say. It's great. Of course, man. It's better that than the opposite, bro. You know what? Drop me a line after, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, oi. There you are. Hey, good to see you again. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, I apologise for the change of scenery. My flatmate's having a video date in the living room, so... Oh, OK, so so I've been downgraded, yeah? Unfortunately, yes, but it was her first date, so I just... I felt like she had priority. I, I look after my girls like that. Oh, do you know, I, I didn't know you had a housemate. Yeah, she's a, she's a really nice girl, but she's a little reserved, and my outspoken personality can be a, a little much for her at times. Yeah, I can understand. I don't think everyone has what it takes to handle you, so... Yeah, I can be a little bit much when I'm stressed and moaning about work, but hey, I chose this life, so I can't complain. Mm -hmm. What about you? How's, uh, how's work been? Not bad. Um, I've just been cracking on and counting down the hours. Never have I ever. So... <laughs> uh, of course you have. Of course. Shall we get started? Yeah, I'm nervous. Don't be too nervous. OK, forfeits. Should we just down our drinks whenever we have to? Yes. Let's do this. I'll pick one for you first. OK, go read it out. OK. Never have I ever experimented with my sexual orientation. Bloody hell. Oh, why beat around the bush? So, come on. These things don't play around. Um... We need the juicy gossip. No, I haven't. Um... Yeah, sorry for being so vanilla. That's all right. Bit of a shame I wasted my first turn, but shit happens. OK, you... You didn't waste your first turn. OK, good. pick me a good one next. OK, all right, cool. I'm just getting some wine, Vinny. OK, let's see what we have here. 
I'm nervous. What do you pick something nice? Tables have turned a bit. Okay. Um... A nice one. I'm the lady. Please. Okay, so so it says, never have I ever had a one night stand. Uh, <laughs> Grace, you. <laughs> Chug. I'm only human. Okay, listen, we've all been there. Well, clearly you haven't because you asked the question. So is it not your style or you never had the opportunity? Yeah, I couldn't rule it out. And some of my friends swear by them, but for me, just... It's not your thing. Yeah. They can be fun if you're with the right person and obviously if you're safe, which I was. Which is very important, of course. Of course. Okay, it's my turn again. Let me choose you a good question. Okay, tell the computer to be nice, yeah? No. Uh... <sighs> Never have I ever fancied a friend's partner. Uh, I have to think about that, actually. Yeah, think very carefully, I would, before, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is just not good. Do you know what? I can't say it's ever happened. Could it? What, could I fancy a friend's partner? Oh. Well... Definitely not. I, it would sort of be emotional betrayal, wouldn't it? My God, yeah, that's exactly what I think. Okay, good. All right, we're on the same page. I'm glad. Okay, my turn. All right, let's, okay. yeah, let's see what I've got for you. Okay, I'm going to go for... Never have I ever met someone famous. Okay. Do you know what? I've never met anyone famous. I guess I'm just I'm probably hanging around in the wrong circles. You're not missing out on much, honestly. Um, no. I dated a few uh, famous people, I guess you could say. Really? Mm -hmm. They aren't all that big egos and they hate being put in their place, which, as you know, I'm not afraid to do. No, I can tell. Um, mm -hmm. How famous are we talking? Um, you definitely know about them. So, who are they? Names or...? Um, no, I'd rather not, if that's okay. Oh, come on. I'm not going to tell anyone. No, it's good. Don't worry about it. It's all good. So, I think it's your go next. Okay, never have I ever said I love you and not meant it. Oh. Well, what are you going to say? I'm just going to go here and... <sighs> of course you are. Of course you are. Obviously. It's horrible. There he goes. <sighs> yeah, I'm guilty on that one. That is unforgivable. Okay. I had my reasons. No, there's no valid reasons. It's the most dishonest thing you can do to someone. Think of the amazing rush you gave that other person. It was all a lie. Yeah, okay, no, 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 I get it, I get it. It is a pretty... No, I'm glad. It's a shocker, really. No, it is a pretty... It's not something you should be admitting. Should we call it a day? Yeah, I think that's for the best. The rosé's gone straight to my head. <laughs> yeah. Completely sober over here. Good for you. So, how did the birthday party go the other day? Hmm? What are you talking about? The digital birthday party that you went to after our first date. Are you sure that was me? Oh, don't do this to me. Yes, I'm sure. It was themed. Oh, yes. Don't yes. do that. Sorry, the rosé is just it's getting to my head. I'm a bit fuzzy. Um, yeah, the 1950s is my favourite era. It was good. It's fun. Grace, the, did you mean the 1920s? Yes, the night. That's what I said. The 1920s. <laughs> you said 1950s. No, I didn't. The <laughs> 1920s, my favourite era. So I've got a question. Go for it. What do you think of this whole digital dating thing? See, for me, I just think it's easier, and I way prefer it. 
Okay, how so? I don't know, like first dates, for example, you get to check out the other person without wasting your time and money. Yeah. Video dates eliminate false advertising. I think I should trademark that. And you're in the comfort of your own home, which is great. So do you think it's possible to keep up the sexual tension and chemistry if you haven't seen each other for weeks or maybe even months? Oh, that's hard to tell. Uh... Mm -hmm. Is it? To be honest, I'm pretty chill about the whole situation in that respect. Some of my friends are losing their mind over it. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, same. I think, uh, I think people are obviously getting really thirsty, but, you know, I'd wait if, I, if it was for the right connection. That's good to hear. Not something you'd expect from a 20-something-year-old. So... Shh. Oh, my flatmate's just finished a date. I better go and debrief. OK, totally. Half the fun is debriefing anyway. So. Very true. Well, listen, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad I got to see you again. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Thanks for uh, playing the game and humouring my opinions, as usual. Listen, it was, uh, yeah, it was my pleasure. I better go. Speak to you soon. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. So, how are you feeling about Grace? OK, overall, it was great. And she's intense and she speaks her mind, but I, Callum, I just love that about her. Uh, hey, uh, hey, that's good, but it's not like she's a straight shooter. No bullshit, bro. Yeah, oh, no, 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 it yeah. feels that way. It felt good. Oh, it feels good. It feels so good. Well, I don't doubt, I don't doubt she feels the same way, mate. You're a catch. You <laughs> gas me up, man. <laughs> no doubt it's made you soft. You are... Callum, do you actually want to date me? Oh my God, we're talking about a date that you went on and now you're propositioning me. Is this what, is this what it feels like to be sexy? <laughs> now you're propositioning me. <laughs> anyway, man, get some rest, you know, get some Zs. Thank you for the support as always. Um, and I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, I mean, like, what else is there to do? I mean, living vicariously through you is the most fun Thing about lockdown. Come on, you love hearing about this. You l I love all this gossip stuff that I talk to you about. I, I love it. This is good. This is what makes me live. It's great. <laughs> thank you. I right, listen. I'm gonna make a move because I'm knackered. But um, no, seriously, thank you because I appreciate it. Ah right, man, no problem, man. Right, love cool. bro. I'll catch you later. Good night. Cool. Oh, what are you doing? Just getting some vitamin D. There's a lovely bit of sunlight coming through my window there. Yeah, it looks like lockdown has broken you. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I know that you're just calling me to talk about your digital dating adventures, yeah? Talking about lockdown's broken me. OK, listen, listen, listen. So I've got my second date with Paige tonight, but, like, she hasn't messaged me or anything since we last spoke. So? I mean, what? Look, some women just don't at the start. Yeah? Just don't let it get to you. You see, women like Paige, they have plenty of options. So the last thing that she needs is you freaking out. That's a surefire way to get yourself pied. Yeah, it makes sense. It does make sense. Look, go well, lad, yeah? As much as it pains me to see you getting on with her, I'd be honoured to call her my sister-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> OK, listen, just take your time in it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. She's not texting me back. She's not texting me back. <laughs> Get out of here, man. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Hi. Paige. Hi, Paige. Uh, you right. I like your, um, your lounge slash gym wear. <laughs> Thank you. You're a fast learner. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, uh, I also checked out your social media. Did you? You stalked me. No, 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 no. It's not stalking if social media is a part of your job, so. Okay, yeah. I get you. I mean, I'm glad that you liked it, uh, yeah, because it's, it's going to look like that for a while. What, are you, are you taking a break or something? No, it's just like, I'm, I'm literally struggling for content right now, like, I don't really know what to post. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. I mean, look, you had no problem coming up with a good game for us to play tonight. Did you like that? Yeah. <laughs> I love this game. I feel like you find out the weirdest, just craziest stuff about people. No, I'm quite excited to see what truths come out. So, should we mm, get playing? Me too. Are you ready? Yeah, 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 let's do it. All right, Absolutely. cool, wicked. All right. 
All right, should I take it away? Yeah, 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 yeah no, 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 you, do, you go first. All right. Okay, would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Okay, no, 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 ladies first, you go. No, 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 I want to hear what you have to say. All right, cool, I'm trying to think of all the things that you'd have, like, that would be difficult to do. Let's just quick fire around, like... Okay, um, I'm going to say... Purely for practicality, I'd rather have hands for feet. That has to be the only option. Oh my gosh, why? Well, hands have so much more flexibility. So imagine all of the things you could, like all the climbing you could do, you like a, like a monkey. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, and retraining your feet would be way harder, I think. Yeah, that's fair enough. But I have to say, for me, it's the exact opposite. You would rather have feet for hands than hands for feet. I prefer the way that my feet look, and I have done the odd foot modeling shoot too. Of course you have. I won't lie. <laughs> well, listen, I'm, I just saw your hands there and they don't look that bad to me. So I think that you'll be all right either way, to be honest. Oh, that's nice. But honestly, I get daily, and I mean daily, DMs requesting pictures of my feet. You see, I just, the yeah. internet, man, it's just. The internet, <laughs> blowing my mind. Yeah. Cool, should we do the next one? Yeah, let's do it. You take it away. Um. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, so would you rather have a golden voice or a silver tongue? What what does silver tongue mean again? I know that a golden voice is that you have a great singing voice, but what Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But silver tongue it means that you've got the best chat. Okay. Yeah. All right, you thank be able you. To sing or be able to talk to girls. I mean, it would help even right now. So I'm just thinking what is <laughs> You're right there, honey. <laughs> I'm going to go with Golden Voice because I think that singers seem to have a really good time and they seem to right. make a decent living as well. So, I mean, they only really make a decent living if they're really successful. Um, That's true. Personally, I've always wished that I could sing. Like, that would be sick. Yeah. Also, I've already got the silver tongue. Oh, God, don't flatter yourself. I, I do think... Carrying on from what you were saying, like being able to make music any place, any time, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I think that personally, I do pretty well as a busker. I mean, you know, I've already got the aesthetic down, so. Mm, mm, you don't really look like a busker. See, that's just because I clean up well, so. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Next question. All right, Next. cool. All right, okay, I'll click it. Okay, um. Ooh, this is a good one. Would you rather hear terrible, dirty talk during sex or have sex in complete silence? Oh, wow. Um, oh. I literally cannot wait to hear what you're going to say. Are we getting into this territory? Only because of the game. OK, any form of dirty talk is definitely better than just complete silence. I can't think of anything weirder. No, it's definitely not. Bad, dirty talk, listen to me, is the biggest turn-off. Like, I actually don't understand why guys think it's OK to talk during intimacy. What do you mean? What do, what do you mean? You know when it's like kissing and then chat and then you get to grinding, but then he brings it back to the chat. And then sex, but then chat. It's like, why don't you just enjoy the feeling? No, no, I didn't realise that you were into some sort of weird robotic library sex. Uh, excuse me, it's not weird and it's not robotic. And actually, the only sound that needs to be heard is moaning. No, but this is the, the, the either or is complete silence. So there's going to be no sound. Yeah, I know. And I'm sticking by my answer. And I'm moving on to the next one. Um... Thank you. You're the weirdo. Okay, cool. I got the next one. Would you rather only have sex with the first or last person that you did it with? Okay. First or last person. Only them. I think that means forever. That is some bad question for me. That's a horrible question. My options are dire. Shall I go first? Please, please do. OK, um, OK, well, my first was actually surprisingly good and special, so this is quite an easy one for me. That's really nice. Um, yeah, I think. For me, it would probably be my first as well. OK, cool. Was it was it good too? No, it was shocking, actually. But my last was a non-starter, so... Yeah. 
Okay. Mm. That's fine. We don't need to talk about that. Why don't we? Uh, let's just move on to the next question. Should we move on? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <Let's do it. laughs> yes, please. Okay. Cool. Um, yes. Go on. I'll click it. Um, okay. Would you rather have a baby tomorrow, or not have one for another fifteen years? Wow. What would you choose? Baby tomorrow, like baby in your arms tomorrow, and that's it. You have to look mm. after that baby, or just. 15 years, no baby. Which one would you choose? I would go with baby tomorrow. Uh, now that I'm getting into my late 20s, just started looking at things a little bit differently and I think I could do it. So, are you feeling broody? Or? Oh, for sure. I feel like I'm in a place where I'm ready. Okay, so imagine this, right? You, you've got no preparation. There's just, you know, no nine months of coming to terms with it. Yeah. A baby is thrust onto you tomorrow. Thrust it onto me and I'll be ready. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I mean, it's easy to say that lightly, but I believe you. I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you believe me. Because uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it lightly if I didn't mean it. That's good to know. Um, do you mind if we call it a day on the game there? Um, of course. It... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you're right. You do kind of learn some weird shit about people in these games. I think when it comes to the weirdo out of us two, it actually might not be you. <laughs> Vinny, I am, I'm really sorry if I came across as a bit cold uh, when we first started talking. Listen, Paige, I understand, okay? You had your guard up and it's fine. I just, I find it really hard to, to trust people and get into them. You know, I've, I've, I've tended to fall for a lot of facades in the past. Um, and listen, dating is all about facades at the start, but what, what really matters is that you like what you see once they've slipped. Yeah, but the point is, you know, people can keep up their facades for way longer than just the dating period. You know, mm. sometimes even years and, you know, then it's too late, so. You've been stung in the past, haven't you? I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, it's why I do I do have my high standards, you know? I know what I like physically, um, yeah. but, you know, naturally, I am skeptical about personalities, you know, until I've got a better measure of them. Okay, I have a question for you then. Um, what do you think of my personality? I would say that... Um, I'm, I've got to go. Was that, Paige, was that a, was that a baby? Um, yeah, it, it's my daughter. I'm sorry, Vinny. No, that... <laughs> a baby? Are you sure? Yeah, it's a pretty unmistakable sound. She's a single mother. Who cares, you know? How did the date itself go? Oof. You know, aside from her being her and me not knowing about that at first. Um, mm -hmm. Bro, I think she's genuinely awesome. And I think it went really well. As good as her social media, yeah? No, no, listen, her social media doesn't do her justice. She's actually just really cool. And she's also a wicked mother by the looks of things. Ah, oh, wow. That's class, man. Hey, you know what, yeah? I'm chuffed for you still. I'm happy for you, bro. Thank you, bro. It sounds good. It genuinely does sound good. No, it is. I think it's really positive. Okay, listen, it's been an eventful day, so I think I'm going to head out. All right, then, man. Hey, bro, get some good rest. Relax, ladies, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. We'll get you out there. We'll get you, we will get you out there, I promise you. Please, right. please. Who knows? These wonderful girls that I'm meeting, they may have friends, so... May, yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. That's where you're coming. And get some wingman game going on, please. I shall. Wicked. All right, I'm going to dash. Digital dash, baby. I'll see you tomorrow.
It is the big dinner tonight, boy. Now, what's on the menu, man? You making something healthy or unhealthy for Paige Lee? Are you referring to her by a full name? That's how I know her, bro. Should I be doing that as well? What is wrong with saying Paige Lee? No, nothing. I just, I don't know. She's just Paige to me. Oh, 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 oh sorry, sorry. Um, so I was going to go for a nutritious tuna salad. How'd you get the recipe for that? I actually got it off one of Paige's vlogs. Ah, smart lad. It looks like I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> Can you not associate me and rubbing in the same sentence? That is an added bonus too, because she won't be able to smell your tuna breath. Ah! <laughs> Tuna's good. Not as a breath man. I ain't taking it. I'm not taking it. Uh, so, obviously, like, date three is something. No, oh, it's nothing, man. Bro, if you were on an in-person third date, you'd have to escalate. No, this. no, no. We're not on an in-person third date. We're on a digital date. So how can I escalate things? There has to be some way to do it. Well, listen, I'll play it by ear. I'll read her vibe and, I don't know, see what happens. <sighs> right. Unconventional. Good luck. Okay, cool. Listen, I'm going to make a move. Um, I'm actually nervous. Um, but we'll debrief later, yeah? Ah, right, man, give us a bell later. And, uh, well, I might not pick up. Why not? <laughs> Your boy has only gone and gotten himself a video date. Oh, this oh, guy. Yeah. Are you serious? It's not just you. It's not just you. This is wicked. With who? Bro, when? please relax, bro. You know I like to keep it low key with all that stuff there, man. I won't pry. Why don't you go and get yourself ready, take a deep breath, and then we'll debrief whenever you. Yeah, can. yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'd be calling me later. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm hanging up. <laughs> hey, your own other clothes. Hello. Uh, don't get carried away, right? This is just me dressing casually. Oh, and are, the, yeah. are those yours as well, yeah? The ones you're folding? Yeah, yeah, these are mine as well. Yeah. <laughs> but... Oh, is... no, no. Is that your salmon? That looks so good. Thank you. It's literally all I've been eating. Um, it's been, like, my go-to. Just salmon? Yeah, I've probably eaten a, a river's worth of salmon. Do you know what? I opted for fish today as well. This is sort of my... Uh, yeah, this is my tuna salad. Okay, that actually looks quite good. How did you season the tuna? Oh, gosh. Um, obviously, salt and pepper. Yeah, obviously. Um, some garlic. Um, also put a bit of chilli flakes on mm. there. Oh, and I I topped it up with just, like, a spritz, spritz of soy sauce. Soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's the one. So which genius did you get that recipe from, mate? Oh, uh, I, I really can't say. I can't remember the sauces <laughs> in this one. So. Uh, well, at least we don't have to smell each other's um, fish breath. Do you know, Tonight. you're the second person to tell me this today. My friend was saying that earlier. Yeah, it would be a bit of a kill, wouldn't it, if you sort of leaned in for a kiss and it was like... So, um, how's Content Factory? Um, operations have slowed. Damn. And the little one? Uh, I'm sorry if it felt like I, I kept that small detail from you. Listen, there's, I promise you there's nothing to apologise about, OK? It... I never asked, and I should have. Yeah, but it's bad form for me. Like, she is the most important part of my life by a long mile. But you know, I just keep it to myself. It's um, it's a bit messy. Yeah, we don't need to talk about it if you don't want to. Do you know what? I'd rather just get it all out in the open now, if okay. that's all right. Yeah, no, of course. I'm, I'm all in. <sighs> okay, so she wasn't planned. Um. I was with her father since uh, we were in school. And what you would assume would have brought us closer, it actually, it broke us up. So it's just me and her now. Listen, you guys are doing just fine. And she's so lucky to have a mother. Oh, my God. Oh, if, sorry. Hold on. If it's a, an emergency, take it. Uh, it's no, fine. no, no, it's not an emergency. Okay, maybe it is. Um, um, sorry, I, I think what, I better handle this. What, what's going on? What's up? A mate of mine has his first digital date tonight. Are you serious? That's so. That's cute. That's exciting. Yeah, but the problem is he's getting cold feet. Oh my gosh, invite him in. 
What, with us? Yeah, 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 do it. I could give him my two cents, you never know, it could help. No, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> how do I invite him? I've never done it before. Okay, so the app introduced like uh, video calls for groups, um, for like digital double daters. Um, so you and I just okay. have to authorize him in and uh, yeah, try it, see if it works. All right, okay, give me one second. Let me just get this function open. Um... Figured it out? Okay, boom, I got it, I invited him. I think, okay, it's saying that you just need to accept it on your end? Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, your event. Hey, shit, Paige Lee. Hello. What's your name? <clears throat> uh, well, my name is Callum. I'm sure my boy Vinny's probably mentioned me already. Oh yeah, yeah. He's mentioned that you're pussying out of a of a digital date, actually. <sighs> Look, I, I mean, video dates are just so unnatural. You know? I don't know. I mean, Paige, we're managing fine, right? Um. No, don't do that. I, I get. Okay, so I'm thinking of sending her like a message or, you know. Oi, listen, you are going to grow a pair and you're going to do the date, all right? You've got a really good chance right now. Women are, you know, desperate for some sort of excitement. So what's my strategy? Just be yourself. Look, there is always a strategy on the first dates, whether we like to say it or not. I mean, I, okay, I get what you're saying. Vinny, why don't you advise? Because, you know, your strategy seems to be working quite well. Me? Why are you asking me for it? No, you're way more qualified to talk about this than I am. Look, I will step in if need be, but let's see what you've got. Okay, all right, uh, let's get started from the beginning. So how do I open, like, how do I break the ice? Like, Paige, you, you don't want to jump in on this and... No. Yeah, Th Callum, thank you, because I feel like this is another test for me now. Um, <laughs> okay. I just say, focus on her, man. Just show her that you're interested. I don't know much about her. Uh, there must be stuff about her on her profile, though. It is basic chat to ask about her profile. No, yeah, okay, but that's what profiles are for, to generate an initial interest, and then you get into the deeper stuff. <sighs> it's making me hot, man. Oh, right, that's literally, Vinny is right. If you just choose, like, one, even just one or two aspects from her profile that you like, get her to elaborate on that, and then take it from there. Like, honestly, guys overthink this first line thing way too much. Mm, yeah, that's... That's true. Yeah, guys tend to do that quite a bit, to be fair. Mm. Good, uh, good advice, though, Vinny. Good start. Yeah? Uh, OK, sounds. So, should we do an activity date or not? Because it could be a very memorable date if we're playing games and stuff. Um, th that could go either way, if I'm honest. Um, you know, you could have a bit of fun, laughter. Yeah, but, I mean, it's a first date, so it's tricky. You've got to really play it right, first impressions. That would probably just distract from what you both really want out of this. What do we want from this? Well, you kind of want to know if you're compatible as people, right? I mean, you both fancied each other enough to match, and now it's about seeing if there's something else between you. So no games. That's pretty spot on, Vinny boy. Thank you very much. Oh, what, what was that to me? Callum. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. You know, it's hard, it's hard to tell on video call. I don't know if you're winking at me or... Callum, are you seriously trying to chat out my date in front of me? No, nah, look, she's winking at me. Tell her to control her winks. <laughs> Gosh. <sighs> All right, final issue. Now, what's the crack on compliments? Oh, what do you mean by the crack? Like, should I shoot her some? And if so, how many? OK, um... Vinny, what do you reckon? Babes? Okay, darling. Um, okay, I'd say. <laughs> wow, I, I really wish you guys would just stop flirting and help me. That would be that would be great. If you guys want my opinion, I would say the more the merrier. I feel like everyone loves having their ego inflated. See, girls love that, don't they? No, guys, that never works. Compliments get very stale and lose their meaning quickly. OK, well, but what do you mean by that? I mean, like, if you give someone way too many compliments, especially early on, it just comes across as insincere and a bit desperate, to be honest. Like, you want something from them. Um, whereas, like, a really earnest and uh, perceptive compliment, that's good. But they land so much better once a rapport has been built. Don't at me. Damn. I was ready to tell her that she had nice eyes and shit. I'd have advised that. <sighs> Basic as fuck. All right. I've got plenty to go on. Thank you, guys. You feeling better, yeah? Much. And Paige Lee, thank you so much, Paige. I'm a big fan.
Paige Lee. That's sweet. I hope it goes well. And listen, you don't have to call me Paige Lee every single time. Okay, I'm sorry, Paige Lee. Oh, my God. Uh, guys, I've got to shoot, yeah? Cool. Well, all the best, and we'll debrief after. Definitely, man. Speak soon, yeah? All right, cool. See you later, buddy. Bye, 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 bye. All right, peace. Debrief? Okay, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, me and my girls do it too, so I'll let you off. Do you know what? I have to say that you are really good with male advice. Do you think? Yeah, for sure. It's just how, like, I like to be treated and, and all women to be treated, you know, as an equal, but allowed to be feminine as well. I mean, it's not an easy balance to find. But it, it makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, it, it was hard having to hide my pregnancy and, and then my child from social media. But why hide? I mean, there's a few reasons. One, I wanted to protect her privacy anyway. And two, I don't think my fan base would, would really be into it. You know, they don't follow me for that stuff. They follow me for the old me. Yeah, no, completely. I understand what you're saying. And you, you need to protect your brand to ensure that you give your daughter a great upbringing. I understand that. Yeah, bingo. That's it. Uh, so we're kind of at the stage where we probably need to figure out whether to, to carry this on, right? Agreed. OK, right. So I'm going to be real with you. You know, when it comes to dating me, there isn't really a honeymoon period, you know? I'm, I'm a mother and everything else comes second. I don't really trust anyone where my daughter is concerned, so it's gonna take me a long time to actually let you in. So if that's not something that you're up for, like, I completely understand. I get it, you know? It makes sense and... Yeah. What's her name? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Iona. Iona, that is such a beautiful name. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Yeah. It's why I picked it. <laughs> it made sense. And do you know what? T tell me more about her. I, you know, if you're willing to, I'd love to hear more about yeah, her. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, oh, God, like, <laughs> where do I even start? Well, lockdown, for a starter, has literally been driving her insane, you know? She's just learnt to walk. Wow. Um, so, so she cute. really wants a big area to be able to roam around in, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I do. She and I both. And she is the most mischievous little girl, like... No. Seriously, I got her, like, this little mini golf set. She loves, like, picking up the balls and, and throwing them everywhere. And, <laughs> oh, my gosh, do you know what? She literally loves getting this little plastic club and lobbing me in the head with it. <laughs> it really fucking hurts, and she does it as well. It's a mini-golf, yeah? That's a mini-golf club. Yeah. She could, she could come on an activity date with us. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not for a while, you know? I'm a bit selective about, about who she meets. OK, well, I mean, that's no fun, but... Uh, well, I can be a killjoy, but what are mums for? I have to be very cautious, you know? Can I tell you what I think? I, I think that you're just afraid that Iona will like me more than she does you. Listen... And I think that kind of worries you. It's impossible. She's always going to pick mummy. Trust. I promise you, children love me. I'm a lot of fun. Yeah, I... <laughs> I can sort of see why you're... You're a bit of a goofball, aren't you? So, did you just call me a goof? Is that a good thing or is that just really off-putting? That's or... a great thing. I'm, uh... I'm in a really tricky place in my life right now, you know. I need to think about what's best for, for myself and my daughter long-term. So, I just really need to be 110% sure I don't, before I burden a man with that, you know. I, oh my God. So, what are you saying? Oh God, I don't know. I, I'm so sorry. Like, I know I must seem like a complete flake, like with these mixed signals. It's just, oh God, if you don't want to be involved, like, I get it. It's fine. You know, of course, this conversation was going to have to happen at some point. So. Yeah, it was inevitable. I hope that you think it's worth giving this a little while longer. Yeah, that's me putting all my cards on the table there. Um, 
Do you know what, Vinny? Like, honestly, I I don't think you understand what these dates have meant to me. Like, I've really enjoyed them. I just, I, I have to admit that I just don't think it's the time for me to pursue something bigger. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. However, can I give you my number? When all of this lockdown shit's over, if you're still interested, give me a call. Yes, of course. I don't expect you to wait because you are, you're a star. Thank you, Paige. That, um, it means a lot to hear. No, oh, how you doing, you sexy bastard? Hey, brilliant. Yo, you and Paige Lee's advice worked a treat, fam. So, how'd you go? She put everything on hold. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, hey, I'm sorry to hear that, man. But it sounds like there's still, like, some hope. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in time, but... OK, well, bro, bro, listen, you are back in the game now, yo. We are going to find you the right girl, Paige Lee or not. No, I'm feeling confident after, you know, speaking to people properly now. But listen, what's going on your end? How'd everything go with your date? Yeah, so I've actually got a dash in a second because we are still chatting. You're, you're talking right now? Have you put her on hold right now? Hey, mate, 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 the conversation is flowing so good. I did not expect it, man. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, listen, hang up this call and go and talk to her. OK, cool, 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 cool. I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Hey, we're going to debrief tomorrow, though, yeah? Debrief? Yeah, we'll debrief tomorrow. Cool. We'll talk about everything. Love, bro. Love, bro. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> later. Go. Later. See you later. We go again.